Hello beautiful Capricorns. Good morning everybody. Welcome back. Thank you for being here. Thank you for all your support by liking, commenting, and subscribing. Let's get right to it. What are the messages here for the beautiful Capricorns? Capricorn energy spirit. Master of the dance. Some kind of offer. What's going on? Ooh. Hey, you might be, you could be a channeler or you are acting as a channel. Uh, challenging messages, enlightenment, giving and receiving, honoring your lineage. Fine-tuning, tapping into your primal power. This is awesome energy. This could be a soul connection we're talking about. An offer being made. Honor your lineage is here and fine-tuning your channeling. Whoa! What's this offer about? Capricorn? Diving into new depths. There's a deeper meaning to what is happening. You might be looking at this from the surface and missing what's really going on. Take a moment to pause and to breathe. Allow yourself to dive deeper into what you're feeling about your current situation. Love where you are. Use your sensitivity to know when to act and connect to your heart, connect your heart to your head when determining what you would like. Every step counts. There is an advantage to taking things slowly. Breathe deeply and fully as you consider your options. Help is arriving in various ways. There is much support for you and sometimes you may get so adrift that you forget to look at the support systems that are with you continually. Hmm. Rediscover your zeal. Pay attention to the passion that you're feeling for discovery, learning, exploration, and spirituality, travel, or your work on your relationships. Passion and desire go together, especially for inspiration. Capricorn. Goals. Progress is positive and personal goals will be achieved. Capricorn. An angel. A sun. Oh, star. Give me a break here. <laughs> Angel, your angels are guiding and protecting you on your spiritual journey. You could be a channeler or have the ability to channel for others. Open your heart in enormous, there is enormous growth ahead. Hard times are over. Look forward to an abundance of happiness, enthusiasm, and positivity. Hmm, what's going on here, Capricorn? Beautiful energy, beautiful sun, the angels, the stars, tapping into your primal power. Some of you are tapping into your line lineage. Honoring your lineage. Your one divine body. <laughs> you are. Okay, <clears throat> someone could be fake woke, 
talking in circles. Someone could be having hypocritical or ulterior motives. They're faking that they're woke. And I don't think you're impressed. Someone entitled, supremacy, seeing too many differences. Sexual tension here. Oh, whoa. You're, a, like I said, divine feminine, a sensual goddess, a baddie. You're not dealing with anyone fake. Things are just tasting here. Tasty, amazing, no complaints. Why is this yo-yo here? Someone trying to backtrack, re revisit to get another chance with you. Urgency. Fast pace. I, I don't know. You're going through some type of glow up. You have a new energy. You have new priorities. And you're attracting... Hmm. So there's a sneaky link here. They could have left you on red. And I don't I, I don't think you oh well someone is very suspicious, sketchy, or in the closet. What's going on? Caught up in infidelity, uncontrollable, and playing the victim. And you've got a come up of an inheritance or lump sum of money coming to you. Hmm. They could have knocked somebody up, gotten someone pregnant unexpectedly. Hmm. Lurking on social media, stalking pictures, watching you from afar. Hmm. They're now they're feeling like a simp, codependent and insecure. They could have even married this person. But they're yearning for you. And you're going, it's a no for me. Don't bother, it's a no for me. Some of you are just saying, no. I'm taken. You could have found your one and only. Or this person is feeling like a simp because they lost their one and only. Hmm. You are busy coming up, and I'm not going to be no third wheel. I'm putting up my walls. <laughs> I don't know. You are in sync, and someone's... <clears throat> In their feels, feeling like this is a soulmate. Hmm. Ascension, new knowledge, top tier, long term, supportive, authentic. Now they want to do this again. Now they're obsessively wanting to chase you because they're they feel salty now because. This is someone spiteful, jealous and spiteful. Very salty and now this person's in pain, disappointed. Hmm. They feel disrespected by something they thought was going to be platonic. And now they're triggered, traumatized. is a major key <clears throat> and now they're trying to dodge this energy S experiencing an ego death you're over here all bougie you have a rich mindset financial freedom you are too high class to be dealing with anybody like this You're resetting. You're releasing and resetting. Now there is some kind of 
telepathic communication, like I said, they could be trying to channel your energy or telepathically communicate with you. But you're feeling like it's broken, it's beyond repair. And maybe now they want to... Yeah, so they got involved with a scam. And maybe they have involved themselves in unprotected sex. Maybe they're, they risked it all. And you're looking for a higher level uh, secure relationship. This is an epiphany here. And it could be that you're looking for a solid foundation, a higher commitment, someone who is loyal. Um, this person risked it all. Did something irrational, senseless, or because they were drunk or intoxicated. You're just like looking at your life here as a life of luxury, the finer things, and looking at your investments. There could be a new message, someone, oh my God, a secret admirer. Woo, here's a zaddy. Divine Masculine. Ooh, look. New love. Oh, my Lord have mercy. We got a Divine body here. A Divine Feminine and a Divine Masculine. And it is someone hot. Could be a Twin Flame. So either you feel like they were gaslighting you or this is twin flame. <laughs> I don't know. They're dealing with someone slimy over here. I don't know if they got, they're very excessive. They could have been gaslighting this masculine and now they're feeling jaded. Immature, closed-minded, someone very petty they're dealing with. I don't know. I see a power couple here coming in. Someone's plot twist out of the blue. Someone wants to confess their true feelings for you. Hmm. Living life. Good vibes in the moment. You may be reminiscing the past sometimes, but you're feeling like it's old news. Uh, yeah, they threw you a curveball. They got involved with somebody on a rebound, and it's not working out. Whoever they're involved with is very immature, close-minded, reckless, they could be like excessive, they could have drug addictions, alcohol addictions, they're just extremely petty. I mean, whoever they got entangled with, like, they're sitting there having sex with this person and they're on their phone. So, that should tell you. Unconditional love, a divine union, eternal love, the love of a lifetime. Here is engagement, a diamond ring, a proposal. This is a new love coming in. You have many choices, but I can tell you right now there's one who you long for, desire, 
or gravitated toward. Mm -hmm. Peace, harmony, helpful, communication, playful, humorous, fun, collaboration of joy. Yeah, you're not dealing with negative energy. But it's been a catalyst to your growth. You've been a catalyst to this person. I can tell you that. Past person does. I don't know. They're, whoever they are, they're immature, they're closed-minded and reckless. Or that is the person that they got involved with, entangled with. And I'm telling you that there is a brand new love coming into your life. You're living in the moment. Someone is spying on you. Something about a message. Maybe you're not interested in talking to this person. Because they could have been a sneaky link. They could have been involved with a third party. And you're looking at joy, peace, contentment, fulfillment, longevity. And I don't think that you're interested <laughs> in being a third wheel. You want passion. You. This is a new beginning. This is... You, trusting your intuition. Some of you just like leave, stay on red. You know, you left me on red, stay on red. I'm, I'm not interested. Hmm. There's love here. What's going on? Someone's taken a leap of faith on a new adventure. And I want to have excitement and fun. I am, you know, it's over. Or maybe they're getting knocked off their tower. Hmm. They could be dealing with somebody who has got some damn addictions and they're looking at, uh, I don't know, they're spying on you from afar. You're looking toward the future or they see a future with you. There's some kind of longing here. And they're hurt. Because they took on a burden. Maybe they're fake woke. Yeah. Well, they, they're getting betrayed. Maybe they betrayed you, but they're getting betrayed. Mm. Yeah. Ending something. They want to reconnect with you, or maybe you're looking at a new soul connection. You want justice. This could be a Libra. Truth. This is a power couple. King and Queen of Pentacles. time apart well it could be brand new opportunity here there's a future commitment here and I think that they're regretting taking so much time apart because there's someone new coming in this is king and queen of pentacles this is a power couple this is a committed relationship and someone plans to make it long term Now they regret not apologizing or not trusting. 
They're doing a lot of thinking here. Thinking that they offer too little, too late, and maybe a missed opportunity. They hesitated. They didn't trust their intuition. And maybe you leave them, them on red. Maybe they left you on red, now you're leaving them on red. But they're stuck on the past. This is someone, an action taker, someone very beautiful, a divine a badass. But I can tell you, whoever this masculine is, they're pretty hot, I can assure you. Honest, new beginning, a success. The Wheel of Fortune, Fate, Destiny, Happiness, Joy, Growth. And somebody's going to be awful jealous that they chose to go in an opposite direction when they should have presented you this offer. But now you have your options open and somebody might want to take a leadership role, work things out with you, but... I don't know. There's a lot of competition for this divine badass, divine femme. That's what they're worrying about. Hmm. Hmm. Well, they might have been too slow. I don't know. This is making their move. This is somebody communicating here. I think that they're afraid that you have moved on forever and leaving them on red. This is happiness, joy, fulfillment. I'm not entertaining anything. I've tapped into my primal power and I've rediscovered a zeal for life. High honor, self-worth, knowing your worth, your value. This is an achievement. This is respect, dignity for your work. High accolades. This is a new world. It could be travel. This is the star. Hard times being over. Looking forward to an abundance of happiness, enthusiasm, and positivity. And they're pissed. They're depressed that you're abundant and happy and in a solid connection. They may have missed the boat because it looks like you are committed. Committed to your own success. Committed to your own happiness. Committed to yourself now, and it's looking like you may be committed to someone else. There's that. Someone's feeling butt hurt. Because they're in love with you, but you may be in love with someone else. Moving forward, fast accelerated motion. Communication, look, temperance, balanced. And they're going to feel left out in the cold. Because you may be working on something really great. <clears throat> and maybe they made the wrong judgment call. And maybe they're self-medicating now. Someone determined to manifest you. Look, someone's calling you in, calling in your soulmate. You're manifesting abundance. You're manifesting a new relationship. You're manifesting something for yourself that this person, your life is all lit up here. You've tapped into your primal power and it's like it's set off a chain of events here 
whether you're single, staying single, you're committed to yourself now, you're committed to doing for you now, you are a divine bad ass. If you are the masculine energy, this person in your future, or the one that you're currently with, they're a divine badass. They get it done. They're a hard worker. They're supreme. They're a master manifester. And if you are the feminine, I don't know, someone leaves you on red. It's your decision to make. This past person wants you back. But there's also a new energy who is going to love you a long time. Take care.